What's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson. Before and today, I will be talking about crossplay in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. The reason why is because I read some few posts about it. You know, I already told you guys that uh, there has been a lot of concerns recently, and this one's probably one of the big major points. So, um, before we get into the topic, by the way, let's talk about the gameplay in the background real quick. I was using the squad for a little bit, but you know, I was trying to level it up. I think it was like level five at this point or something. I don't remember, but you know, I know it was a low-level weapon, and I haven't leveled it up at all, even through the Modern Warfare two days so uh the reason why i wanted to level it up is because it does have a higher amount of rapid fire and that's a battle rifle so i was like hmm maybe it should be a good weapon once you level it up completely and unlock all the attachments for it so that's what i was doing in this gameplay but at the end i ended up using the pistol more often the core 45 which is still a very very strong pistol so i already posted up the best class setup in the community post you guys want to stop by just check it out yourselves and uh do the best class setup for it if not i'll do a full video on it i mean i'll have to cut, chop up a bunch of clips and show you guys how the pistol is being used so you guys can just stare at the gameplay and you see it for yourself so Anyways, moving on to the main topic of today, which is about the crossplay in Modern Warfare 3. Is it a big issue? A lot of people are saying that this should have never happened. Well, today I want to list my own opinion and the reasons why these two things, these two like uh, consoles and PC should have never been together in the first place. There's big differences. You see, the one of the main big differences is the different style of play. Uh, PC gamers have more an advantage when it comes down to aim down sight speed and also when they stop. You see, they have a full control of their mouse and keyboard, right? They have full control. They can stop whenever they can and um, pretty much dominate the scene when it comes down to close range combat because the amount of speed they can have on the wrist is much more incredible compared to console players. See, this is the reason why console players have aim assist in the first place because us console players which i do play on ps5 uh we have a limited amount of speed when it comes down to using the sticks you see people don't understand that the sticks are limited when it comes down to aiming around and also stopping when they're supposed to be stopped so uh because we can only flick we can only flick right flick left and that's it you know flick up and down of course but you know in order for us to stop the aim assist helps us down when it comes down to enemies being close to us that's why we need it because without it our aim will be all over the damn screen we will not be able to stop and you know the accuracy will be down tremendously without the aim assist there's already a few games out there that do not have aim assist as much as uh, call of duty does and i think planet side is the best example of it back in the day when i used to play planet side i sucked at that game i was horrible because the aim assist was not even there oh i didn't even feel it at all because you know most of the time i try to aim for close range combat and it was just like fly across the damn screen and i was like damn you know I wish there was aim assist. I would be doing good in, in Planet Side 2. But uh, yeah, with games without aim assist and you play a controller, it will be kind of a little bit of a nightmare. But uh, it's a good way to train yourself on when to stop and when not to, you know. Um, like, people have their own playing styles, and I know some people don't use aim assist on controllers, which is fine by me. You know, you guys want to test that out yourselves and, you know, become better, do it. You know, nobody's stopping you. But these are the biggest, major differences between PC gamers and console gaming, which gives us a reason why crossplay shouldn't happen. Um, another thing is, this is a rumor, by the way. This is not a statement by me. Um, I'm just going to say it. You know, sometimes PC gamers have more access to hacks compared to consoles. And it's been proven time to time, you know, um, most of the Warzone streamers have been playing on PC are usually hacking have wall hacks you know it's been very common and you'll be seeing it over TikTok how some of these players are getting away with it and uh, also most of the top streamers i mean have been caught with cheats and you know it's just been pretty bad and most of them are pc gamers when it comes down to console gamers of course the only way to cheat it will be by buying that extra equipment which allows you to aim faster or if not just to stop like the recoil from happening i forgot the name of it I, th I think i posted a video about it or a short a youtube short about it like a few days ago or a week ago and i talked about it too so um i forgot the name of it but i know you can buy extra equipment to make your aim stop at a certain point and also control the recoil which i do not own by the way if you look at the gameplay this gameplay itself you'll know that i do not own any of that type of equipment i just kick some ass out there with regular ass weapons so um but the reason why i know about it because of people that have been posting it up on twitter like people are using this and that i'm like damn so consoles can also cheat and it's been very common you know because the the best way the way the best way to tell 
that people are using this type of equipment and you you have cross play off is if they're using the iron sight and they can aim at you from miles away with zero recoil i'm like really you can do that shit without a freaking sight <laughs> you know i used to do it back in black ops 2 with no sight but god damn nowadays most of the guns have shitloads of recoil and i can't even see down the field that well either so um that's probably the best way that you can tell you that they're kind of cheating in consoles but but I, the point is both sides do cheat but it's more common for bigger cheats to happen on pc game and i'm not saying that as a fact i'm just saying that as an opinion from what i've seen on twitter um i do not state that it's an official thing i'm just saying that that's what i've seen you know so far so tell me you guys your opinion about this is crossplay an actual problem in modern warfare 3 so that is it leave a like leave a comment tell me what's up and i'll see you guys in the next one